been cut many times and we would probably all agree that cuts are not necessarily something that are pleasant although we can learn some things from the cuts that we receive in Amos chapter 7 verse number 14 Amos is is talking about God's call on his life and he said before that he wasn't a prophet he wasn't the son of a prophet but he was a herdman and a gatherer of sycamore fruit sycamore fruit is figs uh, the way figs would be gathered, uh, there was a whole lot more to it. They would be, he would have to take care of them before then, and they would have to be cut in order to be ripened. Uh, they couldn't just grow on the tree. They would actually end up rotting, if I understand correctly. But they would have to be cut. And once they were cut, then they were allowed to ripen. God allows things to happen in our lives, uh, many times cuts, if you will. Uh, to ripen us, to help us become what he wants us to be. Amos was a prophet uh, talking to the people of God about their wickedness. And there were a lot of things that Amos would say that would be a cut to them. And uh, they responded negatively many times, uh, like you and I do, when we get the convicting power of God in our lives, uh, the Holy Spirit working, we will, we will push away, much like Paul kicking against the pricks. When, when God comes to us and, and we get that cut, when we get that conviction, hopefully we'll respond the right way. We'll recognize, okay, this is God trying to teach me something. This is God trying to show me something, trying to ripen me, trying to make me just a little bit better for him. Hope you all have a great day.